It's been a long time since we've done this, but in this video, I'm opening up a grab bag, 10 mystery comics from Ollie's. Let's see what we got inside. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure, so if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. If my voice is quiet, it's because my baby is in the room while I'm recording. And of course, she's knocked out. So I'll just turn this up and post and we'll have some fun. Uh, so yesterday, yesterday I went to Ollie's um, and grabbed a bunch of stuff. And one thing that I haven't done in a very long time that I used to do in the early days of the channel is I would go out to Ollie's or Walmart or wherever and buy like these mystery packs of comics. And I stopped doing it, one, because specifically at Ollie's, like I would go to the mystery bag section and they'd all be open and picked through. And I was like, yeah, I'm definitely just never going to buy any of these grab bags. But when I went to Ollie's yesterday, uh, they actually had basically a brand new stock of everything, including these grab bags. So these grab bags, they are... $7.99. Got this for $7.99 at Ollie's. They have 10 comics inside. They're guaranteed to have at least $20 of retail value in them. Um, I grabbed this one because of the book on the cover, which is X-Men number one. This is the Magneto cover. Um, probably my favorite of the five Jim Lee covers. Well, four and then the deluxe. But yeah, so when I saw this one on top, I was like, all right, I got to grab that. Um, and who cares what the other nine books are? But um, I figured since we hadn't done this in a very long time, why not, why not break the seal and go ahead and do it? Now, before I get into this grab bag, I do want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Organic Price Books. Uh, you know, some people love single issues and buying back issues and stuff. Someone like me, I love the mystery of these types of things. But a lot of people mostly prefer collected editions, as you can see behind me. I got tons of them on the shelf and the best place to look for collected editions, trade paperbacks, omnibus, oversized hardcovers, is organic price books. You'll get them up to 50% off, sometimes even steeper discounts, and they'll be packed amazingly well and they'll be shipped to you super quickly. So if you're interested in collected editions, shop with our sponsor, Organic Price Books. And if you use my coupon code BJKICKS, you'll save an extra $2 off every order every time. Yes, so you can put all those books in your cart and then check out one at a time and save $2 every time if you wanted to. But anyway, now that our channel sponsor has been shouted out appropriately, let's get into this Ollie's grab bag. Like I said, I haven't done this in a long time, so if I'm overly excited, my bad. My bad. So, like I said, I, gra I grabbed this for the book on top. Let's go ahead. It's got a little tab here. Oh, they taped it shut. Ollie's actually taped them to prevent tampering, which is great. So no unboxing knife needed. Probably wouldn't use a knife on these anyway. Uh, let's see. All right. Boom. Let's get into that plastic here. We got a bunch of like super raw books, no bags, no boards, just books. So, of course, the first one, X-Men, issue number one. This is the 1991 best-selling comic of all time. I think this sold like eight and a half million copies when it was all said and done. Um, five variant covers, artwork by Jim Lee. Story by Chris Claremont. Well, they co-plotted it, so it's technically story by them both. I mean, this is like literally the stuff of legend. Like if it wasn't for this book, I wouldn't even be into comic books because Jim Lee's X-Men directly influenced the 90s X-Men animated series. And that was one of my favorite, favorite cartoons as a kid. And um, I've been enjoying rewatching it on Disney Plus. It's definitely a slower watch than it was back then. But um surprisingly like faithful to the comics by the way so x-men number one now let's see what else we got 
what is this? Okay, cool. So this is Harley, Harley Quinn, Harley's Little Black Book. Um, also, is it Harley's Little Black Book number four or is it just Harley Quinn number four? Interesting. Artwork by Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmiotti. Good stuff here. Good stuff here. So hopefully this issue won't have me too lost. But again, am I really going to read this issue? Probably not. All right, here's one from DC Vertigo. This is Sandman Mystery Theater. Number two from May of 1993. The Tarantula Act Two by Matt Wagner and Guy Davis. I know nothing about the Sandman universe. Sheesh, this looks brutal. Yeah, definitely not like the type of comics that I would usually buy. And um, artwork is pretty cool though. All right, cool. Here's a random free comic book day issue. Free comic book day, Awake, number zero. Uh, by Beneville and Hess. Can't lie, this artwork looks pretty cool. Story by Susan Beneville, art by Brian Hess. I'll check this out. I like this. I like the artwork. It reminds me of like an animated TV show, which seems great. We got talking animals. We got spaceships. We got like little superpower stuff. I'm down. Cool. Next up, let's see. Wild Storms, what's next? Great graphic novels you should be reading. Ex Machina Special Edition, issue number one. So, was this published by Image? Is this published by DC? Definitely DC. So, pretty cool stuff, trying to drum up some sales for Wild Storm back before Wildstorm just got fully absorbed by DC and then forgotten forever. Ex Machina by Brian K. Vaughn. Interesting. Dude looks like Future from 8 Mile. All right, here's one random book that is bagged and boarded. This is uh, from Eternity Comics. This is Empire. Empire number two by Paul O'Connor. Scott Hanna, John Gallagher. Interesting. This dude looks like Quasimodo or something. And let's see, what else do we have? Okay. Cool, cool. Civil War II, Choosing Sides, Issue 6. Uh, <laughs> stories featuring Jessica Jones, White Fox, and Nick Fury. Hmm. I don't know. Definitely a lot of a lot of filler in this pack. Not a lot of cool stuff, but I mean, I guess if the first book in the, in here is worth like I don't know, 10 bucks. Whatever. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. All right. What is this? Is this a magazine? This is Marvel Age issue 139 from July of 1994, Marvel Age, um, oh, 138. And on the other side, we've got this panel or this ad in memory of Jack the King Kirby. Interesting. So yeah, this, is a, this isn't a comic, this is a magazine. Huh. But it's like, by Marvel. Very cool. Okay. I'm excited about this, actually. Nice little piece of comics history. Cool. All right, we got two more books left. So, first one is 52, issue number four. 52 was a weekly series that DC put out in 2000 or starting in 2006 or well, for that whole year of 2006 um and 52 ended up being a really popular series this series introduced us to um batwoman among other great stories um 
just a nice little romp through the DC universe. Uh, I see some appearances by the question. This looks pretty cool. This looks pretty cool. Um, and for it to be a weekly series, I think they're going to be releasing a 52 Omnibus soon or reprinting the 52 Omnibus. If so, I definitely got to buy that. It looks good. And the last book here from All American Comics is Dead Fish Be Deviled. Definitely a book I would never pick up if I saw it on shelves. This lady's got a pentagram necklace on. What's going on here? Looks like it's a fully black and white comic. Yeah, I would like never buy this. The Haunting of Alicia Swan. So, I guess like old school, kind of horror type comics. Here's an appearance from the devil or some kind of demon looking creature thing. Yeah, I'm literally like never going to read this. So, and that was the last book. That was the last book. So, we got this batch of weirdness here. 52, issue 4. That's pretty cool. Uh, Marvel Age, 138. I'm actually excited about that. Civil War II could literally be thrown away. Uh, this Empire from Eternity Comics. Ex Machina. Like, basically like what the image first does now. Got a free comic book day book. The Sandman Mystery Theater. Harley's Little Black Book. So literally out of all the books that I got in this pack, there's one that's really worth talking about. So what I recommend you going running into your local Ollie's store and, you know, trying to see if you can find one of these. Not necessarily, unless the book on top is one that you know you're going to want. I wouldn't waste my time, honestly, like because space comes at a premium and who wants most of this stuff? I didn't even see the back of this. What is this? Oh, wow. It's like a weird devil dude on the back. That's cooler than the front cover, but also creepy. Um, <laughs> looking at the ads on the back of everything now. Look, there's an ad for Tomb Raider video game. Yeah, I wouldn't waste my time with these Ollie's grab bags unless the book on the front is just an undeniable hit like this one is. Um, would I pay $7.99 just for this issue? Probably not. I already own one. So, mm, yeah, gives a thumbs down from me. But that's cool. It's all good, right? Hope you saw something you liked. And um, what I always say, if you don't like what, it, what you got, what you see here, hey, that's fine. You can always buy what you do like. Just make sure you read what you buy. And be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.